This video we have a little gameplay for you. Going to be utilizing the dollar defense, and I'm going to be rocking chargers on offense. If you guys want any of these ebooks, they're in our school community. I'll link that down in the description below. And I am in the Jets defensive playbook, I believe. Going to be trying some different things with dollar here. Uh, just kind of doing some things a little bit different. Um, I still, for some reason, always have to set my audibles. I don't know why they don't save in this game because that was supposed to be a feature, but uh, I, for some reason, <laughs> cannot figure out how to do it. So going to be kind of messing around with a couple different things uh, and just different strategies on dollar that I normally run. So kind of testing some things out. We'll see how it goes. I am in my playoffs. So, oh, oh, I get a little fumble early. That's the problem with these reverse, reverse plays. If you guys didn't know, I'm pretty sure since next-gen Madden has been a thing, there have been consistent issues with fumbling on reverse plays on next-gen Madden. So, little uh, fun fact for you there. All right, so starting out offensively, going to go to corner strike, see if we can get that in. And this Chargers formation is really good. What makes Chargers really good is it has flood, and then it has some really, really good auto motion plays. It has a really good RPO. I think this might be one of the best RPOs in the game. Let's see if I can highball this flat. Right at the user. Eh, I was trying to throw it on the way. Sometimes it doesn't let you throw the, the RPO, which I don't quite understand. But if you saw in the last play, another thing you can do with this RPO is you can throw R1. So let's we'll see here if I can just throw this. And of course, I throw a pick. <laughs> oh, this is this is the story of Madden. And it's going to be a pick six. Why wouldn't it be? Well, we're off to a great start. Alave, just please do your job, buddy. Just do your job. Just do your job. Just catch him. Just catch him. Just don't give up a touchdown. Alava, you've got to be faster, buddy. Probably should have dove. <laughs> All right, well, this will give me a chance to actually set my audibles. I don't know why my audibles don't save on dollar. I feel like they they really don't save for me. Let's go. So the best audibles for dollar, pretty much unanimously, I think at this point, should be agreed upon. These are the best four audibles. Cover 6 Willie, DB Fire 2, Edge Blitz 3, Strong Safety Zone Blitz. Not free safety zone blitz. If somebody is telling you to run, put free safety zone blitz in your audibles and dollar, in my opinion, they're wrong. But they can tell you what they want to tell you. All right, let's see if we can score. Been trying to uh, talk a little bit today about switch stick uh, and how switch stick has changed the game. It really has. Um, I feel like a lot of people don't really understand <laughs> like why switch stick has changed the game. But it totally has changed the game. And if you don't think it's changed the game, <laughs> again, I think you're wrong. <laughs> so I just feel like you have to really have – you just have to be a lot better offensively and light a switch stick. Let's see if I can catch that. I should just highball everything at this point. I really should. Another formation that is kind of an underrated formation is this, this – uh, tight open. It's tight open. It's pretty good. Finally caught a pass. That's a plus. Finally caught a pass. So how has switch stick changed the game? Uh, switch stick has changed the game because I feel like I'm trying to think of the best way to explain this. Used to be able to have I think a lot more like multiplicity within your plays. So for example, like you could have, I'm trying to think how to word it, like for example, like this combo right here. So if you look at this, so I could run a play like this last year, and this would be really good. This year, you can just switch stick onto the flat defender because I don't have anything threatening the flat. So I, now I need to, I feel like this is definitely a year where you need a lot more like five out plays to kind of counter switch stick, which is ultimately why I think dollar is so good defensively because the switch stick from it is really good, but also it's hard to five out dollar, right? It's also hard to five out double mug. And so that's kind of some, some of what I feel like is we're finding out. I just feel like you need a lot more sh I think the easiest way to explain this is I really feel like you just need a lot more streaks. Like the biggest the best counter to switch stick is like real like like being able to throw a streak over the top if they mess up cuz then they really <laughs> they'll think twice about switch sticking. So 
yeah, I'm just trying to think through, think that through. I don't know. What do you guys think? We'll kind of keep talking about it as this game goes on. I don't think this guy's going to switch stick too much, but I really do think switch stick has just changed the game. And it's, I don't really know that we've fully, like fully adapted to it, especially from like just a reading the defense perspective. I don't think it's been fully adapted to yet. A lot of people really like this play. Let me show you. Because if you switch stick to the corner, then the tight end is normally open. This guy's just okay. I don't know how that. I don't know how that just happened to me. This guy's really. <laughs> uh, this game is sometimes just interesting. But I just feel like you need a lot more streaks. Uh, I, I don't know if it's that simple, but I just feel like you're. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I still don't really know, switch stick wise. Like I said, I feel like we, I feel like feel like we really haven't totally understood how to counter switch stick, to be honest. And that's kind of where I'm gonna probably leave it at for now. Just put a little drag out here to see if that can help. Yeah, I'm just trying to think about like how do I how would I explain this. Switch what what switch stick allows you to do is it allows you to almost like have multiple players like you could switch on to multiple players and if those players aren't being threatened it's a lot easier to defend concepts. So I think the best way to explain it is kind of what I was explaining about like that flat like have you have to have a f you have to have a streak a flat and a corner. Whereas last year you could just have like a streak in a corner on one side, a streak in a corner on the other side, and you could you could be pr it's a pretty decent combo. I feel like this year you just have to have a lot more <laughs> like ways to threaten a defense. I think that's the best way to explain it. Uh, let's see if we can throw this streak, tight end corner, ag. Very good. I think I can maybe explain it a little bit more defensively too as we kind of go through the game, but it, it just changed how you want to pass. Like one word that comes to mind is you have to have like better spacing than you've ever had before. You have to be more disciplined in your reads. You have to actually read a defender as opposed to an area of the field, I feel like. So it's a lot more, I will say like, with a little bit of an oversimplification, it's a lot more what an NFL quarterback actually has to do on offense where you have to actually, like, read a defender. And if the defender bites, then you have to read, you know, then, then you have to be able to react quickly. It's a lot more read and react. And so I personally don't like that because I don't feel like you have to actually – I feel like you could pretty much stay the same pre-snap and you don't really have a lot of consequence – but we'll see. Should be a tight end drag here. See how I can just, <laughs> yeah, I, can, I just feel like you can really, I'm not gonna run that defense now that I think about it. Yeah, I'm just kind of interested to see how this, how this continues to develop, especially throughout the comp season. The reason why we always look at comp is because those are the players that are literally playing for you know thousands of dollars. They're gonna do what works. Very little, little intentional. Dollar's definitely the, as long as you can get pressure out of dollar, it's definitely the best defense in the game, because it, because the switch stick from it is, is really really good. So you see how I can just peel up situation. I can just peel up to this, and now he has to throw that. That's another thing that switch stick does. I feel like it really encourages. It gives you the capability to really take away like the ch the um, intermediate throws, which to me is where most of the big plays happen. And then allows you, um, basically, to force them to check check the ball down. So I can just carry this up. Boom. You see what I'm saying? I mean, it's. I just I feel like it's a lot harder to pass um, on switch stick against a good switch stick good player. 
some people, some people, and and this year, you know, a lot of people said this one of the most offensive games ever, and now we're kind of seeing it f- almost flip like very fast into more of a defensive game. A lot of people say, you know, you got to take your three. It really is. It's not that you can't move the ball, but I do think it's harder to score touchdowns with switch stick. I think that's one of the big big ways that it's changed the game. It's harder to score touchdowns. And the sheds in this game are kind of juiced. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I feel like I get shedded every game now. I feel like the three-man sheds, the f- that's why I like send four in this game. I think send four is really good. Because you can, you can make up for the lack of good coverage on the field with switch stick. Even though Sin 4 has decent, like it has good coverage, but it's not as good as, of course, like a, a drop eight. But as you see, I mean, I, do, I just feel like in general, the biggest thing that I think switch stick has changed in my personal offense, my personal approach, what I'm actually looking for, it's really made me, <laughs> for lack of a better word, like a lot more of like a check down. Like I want to throw check downs a lot. Because they're kind of like, for lack of a better word, they're just safer. Like, let's see if I can catch that with Brown. You still have good se- seam streaks are still juiced. So you have that. But I, like I said, I'm still kind of working it out in my head exactly how how I actually believe that switch tickets change the game. But it totally has changed the game. So I'm just curious kind of what you guys think. Let's see if I can highball this. Yeah, very good. Chargers is really good. So why is auto motion good in Madden? Uh, I did want to talk a little bit about that because you're seeing one of the things that's really, I think, kind of cool about this game is there's a lot of usable playbooks. Uh, There's a lot of usable offenses. You're seeing pro players run a lot of – there's a lot of variety, like Falcons, Cardinals, um, Falcons, Cardinals, Packers, Vikings playbook. Uh, Trying to think of all the good ones, like – Patriots playbook, Lions playbook, Chargers playbook. There's so many good playbooks in this game. Dolphins playbook, Bengals playbook. Um, You know, I think out of everyone that's made a live event in the first three tournaments, there's probably over 10 playbooks been utilized. So that's kind of cool because there's a lot of variety um, in terms of like a playbook usage. One of the one of the main reasons for this is auto motion plays because auto motion plays, specifically the the auto motion like cheat wheels like what's in Chargers where he's on like a streak, those kind of plays are really really good for. He's using one here, uh, but those kind of plays are really really good for like double mug or shaded down man coverage specifically. It really makes those 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 in in interestingly. In real life, I think that's partially why those are utilized. They do help with man-to-man, right? So just kind of an interesting interesting little deal here. Let me man this guy up. Ah, I wanted to man him up. Got to take him underneath. Got lucky the blitz came in because he had a big play. But I just think switch tech has really changed a lot. Because it's, I heard somebody say, I think it was Civil say, it's kind of like match coverage. And in a way, I, I kind of agree with that. Like, you can really, <laughs> you just can, there's just a lot of ways to play defense right now. But switch like being kind of the fundamental way in which you play defense. But if you think about it, like in a lot of formations, what one of the things you can do is you can kind of key in. So like this slot receiver is like a key uh, player, so I'll just man him up with my user, and then I can switch stick onto anything on the field. And I'm anticipating to switch stick if that guy's on a corner. If that guy's on just a basic drag, then I just so it's a way that you can almost like steal coverage players, and that's that's just something we haven't really seen, honestly. It's like right here, I'm gonna man up the tight end with my user. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. And so my whole entire thing here is I'm gonna switch onto this middle third. If, if the tight end runs something. Yeah, switch on the middle third. See, I'm right there. Should have been a pick, but I just wanted to break up the fourth down. But So you kind of see the idea. You can – the biggest thing is, like, you, the biggest use of switch stick is stopping, again, those intermediate crossers, those, those crossers, those corners. 
very good for, very effective for taking that away, which again is why I believe <laughs> that kind of the the ability to, to have checkdowns, you want to force them into hard flats. So, and once you're able to force them into having to play hard flats on both sides, then I think you're a little bit more equipped to be able to attack a defense. Also, by the way, one of the best runs, this is another reason why Chargers is good, this RPO duo <laughs> and pin pull toss both are really good plays. All right, let's see if I can actually not throw a pick here. I want to throw a circle. There you go, high point. That high point flat on the goal line is, is really good. It's a really good route. So, so what, what switch stick really allows you to do, if you really game plan around it, you really understand what's going on, at least from what I see so far, switch stick allows you to steal coverage players when that area is not being attacked. In a way, it's kind of like a match defense when we talk about within a match defense, you, if, you, if your area of the field is not attacked, you're taught uh, to look for work right to look for work uh, and so I think it just makes the what Madden has really been built upon for a long time is one play touchdowns deep intermediate deep intermediate routes like deep corners deep crossers those have been kind of the main things right and now with switch stick you can take a lot of that away uh, which you know again just kind of an interesting interesting reality See, I could just switch the here. I take this away. See if Kyle can make something, make something happen. Block. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but I mean, you see what's happening. Like one of the most meta plays in trips for the longest time with the tight end drag and the crosser. You would used to have to use her that tight end drag all the way across the field. Well, now you can just switch stick onto the middle third because there's nothing clearing out the middle third, and he doesn't just stand in no man's land. You can just cut the crosser yourself. So that that's kind of what I'm trying to get at with switch stick is it allows you to, like, cut off routes. And it honestly is a lot I, – I, another thing that I think switch stick forces is you have to kind of be a little bit more, like, for lack of a better word, deep. Like, your play calling has to be a little deeper – than what we've previously seen it be, which is kind of another little thing here. Not gonna lie, that that's not that combo is not really working well. It's probably because of hash marks. Let's go. This play out of flood is really good. Let me see if I can stem this up. I wonder if double drags. I really like double drags. Yeah, double drags this year. Look at the yellows just back up. <laughs> it's another big piece of it is, <laughs> you know, again, just having the check downs. I think the check downs, it just, it, I really do think we're kind of getting into that, like more of a horizontal based, more of a horizontal based passing game. Like something like this, I think it's pretty decent. Let's just see how this works. I'm mainly looking for this drag and then this post. Right, and then you you almost have you almost have to start. Let me give you another example. So, like an air raid, an air raid combo that I really like is something like this. So you have a clear out streak and a post, and then you have a drag underneath of it. And so, really, what you're looking for, you see how they back up to that streak. You're really looking for that drag, right? It's it's more stuff like that than what we've previously seen. You know, for example, this corner corner route play, right? We're really looking for this corner route, right? But we have this flat, so we're high low on this left side, and then if they switch stick, we have the high low in the middle. So you see, there's a flat. We're gonna be a little bit more disciplined. Have to wait on the route a little bit more. Miss end up end up not being able to complete it. So I just think another really under like a very simple way of saying this is it closes a lot. It closes a lot of the throwing windows. 
like a lot of the throwing windows are kind of starting to you're starting to see like they're just harder to hit than they were previously. So the windows are like open for less time because of a good uh, someone with a good switch stick. Crap, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, crap, I did not mean to do that. And high points are still key. There it is, boys. How has Switch Stick changed your Madden game? Curious what your comments are and uh, just kind of want, wanting to learn about it. But thanks for watching the video. And if you guys want to check out any of the full ebooks, they're in our school community, which is linked in the description.